If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a book, come on close and take a look. If you're ready for a book, clap your hands. Whoops, I messed it up just a little bit. All right, so here's the next verse we're gonna sing, and this verse will be a little bit of a clue. We're going to say meow. Can you practice saying meow? <laughs> if you're ready for a book, say meow. Meow. If you're ready for a book, say meow. Meow. If you're ready for a book, come on close and take a look. If you're ready for a book, say meow. Hmm, let's see, what else could we sing if, hmm, if you're ready for a book, say purr, purr. If you're ready for a book, say purr, purr. If you're ready for a book, Come on close and take a look. If you're ready for a book, say purr, purr. All right, you guys, do you know what we're gonna talk about today now? I heard it. We're gonna talk about cats. Do you guys, do any of you have a cat at home? One no, one yes? Right. Okay, good, I have a kitty cat too. I have three kitty cats in my house. You have two cats? Oh, all right, well then, you'll know just how they are supposed to act. So we're gonna read a book first that's called Cat and Mouse. Do cats normally like mice? What do you think? I'm not sure. This book is called Cat and Mouse by Ian Schoner. I love little kitty. Her coat is so warm and if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. Uh-oh, the kitty's chasing the mouse. So I won't pull her tail, nor drive her away, but Kitty and I very gently will play. Hickory dickory dock. Oh! Do you guys know this one? The mouse ran up. What is that? Yeah, the clock. Oh boy. The clock struck one. <gasps> what does, <laughs> how do you think the kitty feels? Scared? <laughs> Surprised, maybe? The mouse fell down. Whee! Good thing he has a little umbrella. Hickory dickory duck. Uh-oh, where's the mouse going? In his house. Why is it going in there? Yeah, so the kitty won't get him. Oh, the kitty will just have to play with the umbrella. I won't pinch her ears, nor tread on her paw, lest I provoke her to use her sharp claw. Uh-oh. I'll never vex her nor make her displeased, for Kitty can't bear to be worried or teased. 
Uh-oh, does it look like Mouse is teasing Kitty? He says he's not, but it sure looks like he is to me. He's kicking string right by her. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Catch a tiger. Oh, uh oh, look at that lasso the mouse made. Uh oh, what do we catch a tiger by? By the toe! Ah! How's Kitty feeling now? Yeah, she's feeling like, ouch! If she hollers, that was a good sound. I like that. Let her go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, how's she feeling now? kitty feeling. Happy. She's not mad anymore. I'll pat little kitty and then she will purr and thus show her thanks for my kindness to her. Oh, I think Mouse and Kitty are friends. What do you think? She'll sit by my side and I'll give her some food and kitty will love me because I am good. And that's the end. What are they doing now? Yeah, they're taking a nap. Good night, kitty. Good night, mouse. Well, that was a good story. All right, are you guys ready to sing a little song with me? Do a little rhyme with me, I should say? All right, get ready with your kitty cat paws. Let me see those kitty cat paws. Okay, kitty cat, kitty cat, sneaks out of the house. Kitty cat, kitty cat, creeps up to a mouse and pounce. Let me see you guys pounce again, pounce. Oh, kitty cat, kitty cat, creeps up to a bird. Kitty cat, kitty cat, is not even heard. And then, pounce! But the mouse ran away, and the bird flew away. So kitty cat, kitty cat, found a ball of yarn to play. And, pounce! All right, let's try that one more time. You guys get ready to pounce with your kitty cat paws. Have you guys ever seen a cat pounce before? And they jump up in the air and pounce down with their feet. So we're going to pounce with our paws. Kitty cat, kitty cat, sneaks out of the house. Kitty cat, kitty cat, creeps up on a mouse and pounce. Kitty cat, kitty cat, creeps up to a bird. Kitty cat, kitty cat, is not even heard. And pounce. Good job. But the mouse ran away and the bird flew away. So kitty cat, kitty cat found a ball of yarn to play. And one last time, pounce. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's listen to another story now. This one is called Can I Keep It? by Lisa Job. Does anybody see what the boy has in his hands and the picture on the cover? A frog, yeah. Do you think he's asking if he can keep the frog? I think so. What do you think his parents are going to say? No? <laughs> All right, well, let's read it and find out. 
can I keep it? Thwomp! Oh boy! What did he catch? You think a snake? What do you see in this box here? What animal is this? Oh, a squirrel. Mom, if a squirrel follows me home, can I keep it? Mom says, a squirrel? Squirrels like to climb trees and gather acorns. If you were a squirrel, where would you like to live? Maybe in a house. Well, I think this squirrel likes to live in the tree, so the boy realizes that and lets the squirrel go. There he goes. Uh-oh, but now he has a net set up. What's he going to catch next? Oh, what is that? It's a big old frog. Shloop. Oh, that frog looks surprised. Mom, if a frog follows me home, can I keep it? A frog? Frogs like to leap high and splash in the water. If you were a frog, where would you want to live? Mm-hmm, in the lake, in the water. So, okay, he lets the frog go too. Look how much happier the frog looks now that he's going back home. Oh, but here goes the boy again. He's got a bird cage this time. And, yeah. Clank! Oh no! He caught a bird! What do you think he's gonna do? You think? <laughs> well, he's gonna ask mom if he can keep it. Mom, if a bird follows me home, can I keep it? She says, a bird? Birds like to build nests and fly high in the sky. Can that bird fly very high with the string tied around its foot? No. If you were a bird, where would you like to live? Yeah, I think the boy's swinging on his swing and thinking about that. And he decides, well, okay, I'll let the bird go too. Oh, what's that? There's a little gray mouse and a big orange cat. It's pouncing on the mouse and the string. And the boy says, cat. Look, the kitty came right up to him. If I were a stray cat with a crooked tail, where would I like to live? Yes, here with a boy like me. Does the cat look happy? The cat looks sleepy, very comfy. And there's the mouse with the string. So what do you guys think? Did any of those other animals want to live in the house with the boy? Was the squirrel happy to be captured? Was the frog happy? No. What about the bird? No. But did he actually have to catch the kitty? No, the kitty really did follow him home, didn't she? Now, I want to take another look back through this book and look at the pictures. Because even right here on the very front cover, if you look all the way in the back, 
Look, the kitty's already there. And then in this picture where he's catching the squirrel, does anybody see a kitty? It's re yes, it's really tiny right here behind the chair. So the kitty watched him catch the squirrel. And then here when he's setting up the trap for the frog, do you see a kitty? Where? By the string, there's the kitty's paws. And even here, when he goes to catch the bird, if you look behind the tree, you'll see a familiar little orange kitty hiding and watching. And he keeps watching. He's right there. until eventually he can't resist that string and he follows the boy home. I thought that was really cool the first time I read this book, that the kitty was already there in all the pictures. I didn't even notice, did you? No. All right. We're gonna play a little game with some mice. Do you guys know what mice like to eat? What do you guys think? Do you know what mice like to eat? Mm -mm, no? Oh, I heard it, cheese. Okay. So one of these mice on here has eaten some cheese and in a minute we're going to figure out which one. But first let's go through and talk about all the different colors we see. All right, let's start up here. What color is this mouse? Black. Yeah, it's gray with black ears. Good job. What about this one? This one's red. Yeah. This one? This one is orange. Yeah, it has orange body and orange ears. How about this mouse? Yeah, it's yellow. This one? What color is this mouse here? Green. How about this one? Blue. Purple. And pink. And last but not least, this one is brown. All right, let's count them together. Let's see how many mice there are. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine mice. Okay, and one of them ate a little piece of orange cheese. So we have to guess and figure out which one that was. Which color mouse do you think we should check first? Okay, so we're going to say all together, little blue mouse, tell us please, did you take the orange cheese? All right, let's try that one more time and then we'll check. Little blue mouse, tell us please, did you take the orange cheese? All right, let's check. Do you see any cheese? No, it wasn't the blue mouse. 
Hmm, which mouse should we try next? Purple? Some of you are still muted. If you want to unmute yourself so you can tell me which color you want to check, we could do that. But let's do purple next, and then you guys can unmute. All right, little purple mouse, tell us please, did you take the orange cheese? <gasps> Was it the purple mouse? No, there's no cheese. We're gonna try yellow next, I heard. All right. Little yellow mouse, tell us please, did you take the orange cheese? Is it there? No. Hmm, which one? Are we gonna try orange next? Okay. All right, let's get ready to say our chant. Little orange mouse, tell us please, did you take the orange cheese? <gasps> Did it? No! Oh boy, we only have a few more to guess. Which one should we try next? Red? Okay. Little red mouse, tell us please. Did you take the orange cheese? <gasps> no! What color next? Black? Okay. Little black mouse, tell us please, did you take the orange cheese? No! Do you think any of them took the cheese? It's on there somewhere, I promise. Brown? Okay. Little brown mouse, tell us please, did you take the orange cheese? No! <laughs> the green one? Okay, let's try the green one. Little green mouse, tell us please, did you take the orange cheese? <gasps> Yay! You guys got it, good job, there it is. There's the little piece of cheese. Okay, now he'll share with all his friends. They can all have a little nibble of the cheese because they really like it. All right, that was fun. So I have one last story to share with you all today. And this is a little story called Let's Learn Colors. This is a nonfiction book, which means it's true. And it's all about bugs of different colors. Oh, look, I see a kitty in the background. <laughs> all right, so look at all of these colors on this page. These are all the same colors as the mouse. We've got, what colors here? Red and then orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. This one's kind of dark, but it's brown, yep. What color is this? Gray and black. All right. So each one of these pages says this bug is, and then the color. What bug color is this bug? This bug is red. All right, you guys help me. This bug is orange. What kind of bug is this? Right, it's an orange butterfly. This bug is yellow. What is this bug? A bee? It's actually a wasp. 
but B is a good guess. This bug is green, and it is what kind of bug? A grasshopper, very good. This bug is blue. What is it? You guys both got it. It's a dragonfly. This bug is purple. What kind of a bug is it? That is a beetle. No, but keep that in mind. This bug is, it is a little bit yellow, but what is the color in the background here? Pink. This bug is pink. Does anybody know what this bug is called? This one is a mantis, like a praying mantis. Ooh, this bug is brown. There you go, this one's a stink bug, yes. This bug is gray. Does anybody know what this bug is? I don't like this kind of bug very much. It's called a silverfish. This bug is black, yes. And it is an ant, very good. And then on the very last page here, we have a picture of a bug and it asks, what colors do you see in this bug? A rainbow. I see white. A rainbow. What colors do you see in that rainbow? I see blue. I see green. I see red. Yep. Orange. Purple. That really is a rainbow bug. Okay, everybody, before we go today, I just wanna show you, some of you have already been working on it. You have a craft in your packet, and it is a cat mask. Now, I don't have mine done, but you can add these shapes onto the mask to decorate, put some ears, and there are even some blue paper in there to make whiskers but you can decorate it however you like. And then you can put on your mask and pretend to be a kitty cat. When you're pretending to be a cat, you can pretend like you're chasing a mouse. Do you think it will want to play with you or will it hide? It will hide. Maybe both. And then Miss Fran has a note on your kit paper here that says to keep your cat mask for next week because you're going to use it again and there's going to be a mouse mask next time too. So make sure you hang on to those cat masks that you make. All right, everybody. Can anybody remind me how our goodbye song goes with Miss Fran? Does she sing a goodbye song? Can you guys help me sing it? I don't remember how it goes.
I'm glad you came today. Have a story time. I'm glad you came today. Good job. Let's try it one more time. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you for joining me. I hope you will see Miss Fran next week, but I had fun with you guys today. Bye.